Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is just going to be a get ready with me and I'm going to be going over, I guess, my yearly favorites. Um, I tend to use the same products over and over, so some of these may be repeats from last year, but I have, I don't do monthly favorites because I, my filming is all over the place. So this is going to kind of be my recap for the products that I really liked over the year. There's, I think maybe only one thing here that's not available, but I do use it all the time and it is something that you can get like through Poshmark or Macari. So I figured I would include it because it is what I use um, the most. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. There's like a hair or something in my eye. Yeah. So stick around. Uh, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And let's oh, jump okay. into the video. I don't know what was in my eye but I think I got it so hopefully I get that kind of rectified before we start putting on makeup but I'm just going to quickly go through the skincare that I'm using I mean I guess you could technically call these favorites because I use them all the time but most of my skincare comes in like subscription boxes or stuff that's sent so I haven't actually like other than one product I'm going to mention um I don't really go out and like buy stuff on purpose if that makes sense so most of this stuff was sent um the one thing that I did go out and like repurchase I will talk about that but let's do skincare first um I do have everything on my face so it can kind of sink in before we do makeup but the hydrating serum that I've been using I have dry skin um if you're new Mine is like straight dry. I'm not combination. I am straight like dry. So a lot of this stuff is for dry skin, but I've been using the glow recipe, the plum, plum hyaluronic glow. I, I like this. They actually, I got this twice in BoxyCharm, so I have an extra one. Um, but that's the one I keep on my desk. And the other one that I use um, sometimes I use these like either or today I use them both I went in with the glow um, recipe one first and then did this one second this is the keys um, soul care let me glow the illuminating serum this does have like it's almost like shimmer it doesn't have like liquid glitter in it but it does have like it's shimmery when it comes out of the bottle like it just gives you a nice glow um, so if you're not into like shimmery, there is like, I feel like shimmer particles in this. Um, it is fragranced, like it has kind of a flowery smell. I don't love that, but I do like the way it looks and it feels nice. It soaks in nice. So like I said, I either use these two as an either or situation or like today I used, um, used them together. But I do like those for eye cream. I have a bunch of these. Like I have a small one and I have a bigger one. This is the Clinique Moisture Moisture Surge Eye. It's a hydro filler. I I get this often enough um, that I haven't actually had to buy one because, like I said, I have this mini one. I had another mini one that I used up. I have this larger one, so I'm good for a while. But I really, really like that for eyes. Um, it's really, really nice. Um, the other um, eye cream that I use in conjunction, I go in with the Clinique one first, is from Saturday Skin. This is the Vitamin C Brightening Eye Cream. Again, I got this in a box, so I didn't purchase it, but I like it. Um, I use a gel moisturizer first. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Relief. It's from that same, like, line as the eye cream, I think. Again, I get, I have this mini. I have another mini that I got, um is like a freebie so thankfully I haven't had to go out and purchase this this is one that I would probably go out and buy but thankfully I have enough like travel ones I haven't had to do that the one moisturizer that I will use um, with that is the Bobbi Brown the vitamin C face base this is a mini that I had that I completely used up. I do have the full size in my bathroom. It just doesn't fit in this drawer. So I just refill this. Um, 
I didn't use it with the, the gel moisturizer today. Sometimes I will, um, especially like I'm using a foundation today, but I'm going to use a hydrating primer. But this is one that I did get a mini of and I actually purchased um, the full size. So that's, I'm really bad about using skincare. Um, not skincare. I'm bad about using sunscreen. I have some. Um, the one that I, when I do decide to use it is from Murad, but I don't love the way sunscreen feels. So I, I'm bad about using sunscreen. So don't, don't come for me. The other moisturizer that I use all the time that I did actually purchase, I have like, um, one more of these. I think I had three to start with. This is the Avant, the Hyaluronic Vitamin C. This is a the other moisturizer that I I did purchase and I like that. So, okay, we're going to go into, I'm going to actually use a foundation, but my favorite tinted moisturizer and the thing that I use most often is the one from Pure. Um, I have quite a bit of this left. I wanted to get one when they were doing sales, but for some reason this didn't really come up on sale. So I didn't end up repurchasing it, but I have a, a good amount of it. It does have SPF in it. Um, it's a four in one. It's hydrating. This is generally what I use because I don't, my skin tone is pretty even. My, my complexion is pretty even, I should say. So I don't need anything full coverage. I am going to use a foundation today only because I don't wear a foundation often, but I figure I would mention my favorite. Um, tinted moisturizer BB cream. Um, we're going to go in with primers. My favorite um, pore filling is still the Urban Decay, the Optical Illusion. I only have to buy this like every two years, which sounds gross. It comes in a pump and I've never had it like go bad, but this is one that I have repurchased. Um, I like this with the Becca Backlight Priming filter. I did get a second one before they went out of business. Um, and I did just open that one. Um, I like that with this as like a glowy primer. Um, but since I'm using foundation, I'm going to use the gripping one. I generally don't use a gripping primer unless... I'm gonna wear foundation because it's not necessary with the tinted moisturizer, especially because that pure one is pretty like minimal coverage. It's not necessary. So I'm just putting a little bit of pore filler on just because my skin's been looking really bad. And then my favorite gripping one, I do have the e.l.f. Grip Primer thingy, the green one. I'm trying to put some stuff back here as we go, but I actually like the hard candy one better. It's not... To me, I don't feel like it's quite as sticky. I mean, it, I feel like it has the same lasting power, but sometimes I have a problem with the e.l.f. one being too sticky to where, like, if I'm putting foundation on, like, it will really, like, grab on and I have a hard time blending it out, if that makes sense. So I have to make sure I'm really using tapping motions with that instead of swiping because... I feel like sometimes when I'm using a swiping motion with the e.l.f. one, it, it's like gets weird almost because it's so sticky. This one has some grip, um, but it's not as unforgiving. I mean, if you really want a sticky gripping primer, the e.l.f. one is really good. I just, like I said, the way I apply my makeup with a foundation brush, when I use a brush, I don't, yeah, I, I'm like buffing and wiping and that just for some reason I haven't had good luck with it so this one is not as sticky um but it does have a grip it, I think it claims that it's like 12 hours or something I could be making that up but um Emily Noel recommended it if you watch her she's the same age I am so I really like her heart recommendations but like hard candy makes this you can get it at Walmart it's hydrating so I like that one just a little bit better, like I said, than the e.l.f. I tend to reach for that one more just because, like I said, I've had issues 
with the e.l.f. one being too sticky. So I'm going to put the little bit of hair, like the baby hairs that I had sticking out up. Um, favorite sponge. This is from AOA. These, you can get them on Amazon. I get the six packs, but they're just as nice as the beauty blender. They actually puff up a little bit more. They're super soft. You can get them on the AOA website for like two bucks. Um, like so you can get them on Amazon too. Very, very good sponge. I generally like a makeup brush. Favorite foundation brush is from It Cosmetics. It's one of the heart-shaped ones. But um, we're going to use the sponge today because when I use foundation, I like the sponge because it shears it out a little bit better. I am just going to have to go around. Um, with my concealer brush around my nose because I have trouble with stuff sticking on my nose. But my favorite foundation is from Fenty and it's actually the Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Um, I think a lot of people didn't like this. I Like I said, I have dry skin, but you, I prep it really well. I put a lot of moisture on, so I don't have a problem with this looking cakey and I don't have to use a lot. I'm in the shade... One is that 145? I think, yeah, one maybe 145. I I think I got this through Boxy Charm. Um, I did go on the Boxy Charm website because the last time they were doing sales, um, they had the hydrating one available, so I did buy that, and that's coming. But. Uh, I don't know. I think, like I said, I saw a lot of negative reviews about this, but like I have dry skin. I'm not a huge, like I don't like to look super matte, but I add in some things to make this a little more glowy. But the shade match of this is pretty good. Um, I try and not go like exactly my shade if I can. It's hard when you're shade matching, but, and I'm doing like half little, like half pumps on my hand. Um, I try to go a hair darker. Um, I'm very, very fair since COVID. So I find that if I do my exact shade, it like washes me out really bad. And I'm gonna put some on with the sponge, but I generally find that I have to go back in with my concealer brush. And I just do little baby pumps because you don't need a ton. And I try and really like work it around the sponge. Um, you'll get a more even application if you kind of work it into the sponge a little bit better, I found. I've been watching like some makeup class videos and this was like a pro tip because sometimes I guess if you just squeeze it onto the sponge and put it on, it can dry and it's not applying evenly and then it's drying down and she recommended like making sure you're loading up the sponge evenly if you have trouble with foundation looking like weird um it seems to be actually applying okay with the sponge so I guess I, I'm not going to go back in with the brush sometimes I have to I feel like it just doesn't adhere good um, some of that is I forget to exfoliate my nose really well. That makes a difference. But yeah, I really like this foundation. I find that I have other foundations in my collection, but I find that this is the one that if I'm going to wear a foundation, that's the one that I find that I reach for. So for concealer, my favorite concealer this year has been from Item. Beauty, I have mine in the shade 110. I, I find that I don't need to wear a color corrector under this, which is amazing because most concealers I do. My favorite corrector is still the Pixi one, but I find I don't really need to use it with this. Um, and I just do a couple of dots. That was the other mistake. Um, I was doing like the super young YouTubers and like swiping. I, I don't need that much. It starts to look crepey. Um, so just a couple of dots. And then the other one that I like is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic. This one is in Fair 05W. It's very, very light, but I like it. Um, I just do a little dot. Um, it helps brighten a little bit. So I'll go in 
with just that much with the concealer. So those are the two that I, I was really like surprised. And this is one that I got in BoxyCharm. It was, I think, an item that I chose. I'm just going to use a brush. Um, with my under eyes, a sponge is going to soak up product. It doesn't soak up a ton depending on which sponge you're using, but I don't want it to soak up product, especially under my eyes. So I like to apply concealer with a brush. And this is a Morphe G1. I've had this one for a few years. I have other concealer brushes. Like I have this little one from Real Techniques um, that I will use for concealer. I like that one more for putting primer on my eyes, but if I'm going to go in with color corrector, I use this brush for that too, but I like the way it applies. I feel like especially with the sponge, I've had an issue where I go to apply concealer and it starts to like lift and some of that can happen too if the sponge is too damp, but I've just found for the way my skin has, you know, changed as I've gotten older, brushes work better for a lot of things. And when I'm using um, tinted moisturizers, I use a brush. And then if I have trouble getting into my inner part here, I'll go in with this smaller one too. But yeah, I find sometimes I have issues with the sponges like lifting and doing like weird things. So I don't love doing concealer with a sponge anymore. I just use less concealer. And then I'm gonna set, um, I'm gonna go in with my pressed powder from number seven. This is in light. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. And I actually just got a couple of these triangle thingies that everybody's been using. I do apply it with a puff, but I've been using like the round ones. I did finally get a couple of these from Amazon. I just got like a six pack. So I'm just going to set under my eyes. Um, I turned 38 this year, so I do have lines. Like there is no such thing as crease proof concealer when you're approaching 40. So um, things do settle, but um, things can settle less or settle more depending on um the product so I find that that concealer doesn't settle too bad and I try and go in I like this pressing I don't I'm not baking but I'm just setting where I put the concealer and then I'll go in with some cream like contour but I find if I wait too long at least under my eyes it it's very unforgiving to like go back um, and try and blend it out because that uh, concealer does dry down. So I try and at least set my under eyes. Uh, my favorite contour, and this is not available anymore, is the Quickie Contour Stick. Um, and other cream contours that I like, I like the Fenty in Amber 01. They do sell this in a stick. I just couldn't get it in a stick form. Um, but I do use it out of here. And then the other one that I like... Um, I have an ABH stick foundation in mink is a really good cool toned contour. This is very pigmented because it, it's a foundation. So you have to be careful with that. But my absolute favorite is my benefit one. Um, somehow it got turned up in the lid, but this is about how much I have left. This is one of those items. Like I had a chance to buy a full size on Poshmark like a year ago and I didn't do it. And now like I can't, I did go on there today and I found one and it's, it's a mini like this, but I ended up buying it cause I'm almost out. And this is like my favorite cream contour. I wish Benefit would bring this back. I feel like this is one of those products where Benefit was a little too ahead of their time and people just weren't like excited about it. I feel like if Benefit brought that back in different shades, um, people would be all over it. And I just blend it out. It, it's a little bit warmer for like a contour. It's technically, it's a cream bronzer, but 
I just like the product and the shade is nice. And I will go in with cream like or powder contour and bronzer, but it just blends out so effortlessly. Like I said, the ABH one is good, but I have I cannot apply it directly on my face like I did with this one because it is so pigmented. I have to make sure I go in with the brush. Like this one I can go straight on and color it in and I don't have any issues blending it out. Obviously the uh, one in the compact, I am not I'm applying it directly to my face. Like I said, I did try and get that one in the stick form when I bought that um, a while ago and they were Sephora was out and they didn't know when they were gonna be back in stock. It's their lightest shade, so it's popular. So I, and I've never felt like purchasing the stick just because I have the compact now. And it's like, if I buy, and I'm lifting foundation right here. If I buy, I actually have a contour brush, so I probably should have went in with my contour brush. But um, if I buy the stick, then I'm not gonna be using um, the compact that I have anymore. So I've never repurchased it. See, I do have that issue just in general. It's not the product, but stuff just does not wanna adhere to my nose. So I'm just going to go back in. Um, I just use a little bit of concealer when this happens. Yeah, it's definitely, and that is, you know, it's an older product, so it's probably getting a little bit dry. Like I said, I do have an actual contour um, brush, but I don't think it's the product. I think it's just my nose, because like I said, I have issues with just putting it on with the sponge and the sponge just picking up the product. So it happens. So you can see like, just gonna re, I just reapplied some concealer. I'm gonna go back in. I'm just gonna set it with powder. I'm not gonna try and go back in with the cream contour. I will just um, powder contour. Yeah, it seems like it's still not wanting to adhere to my nose really well right there, but that, like I said, that is a very common issue that I have. So we will just move on. Move on. Um, for pressed pow press powder, loose powder, I my favorite is still the Too Faced Born This Way. Um, I have mine in translucent. It's a little bit messy. I don't love like this. I know the idea of this is to be less messy, but it's such a pain to get it out. I just soon just as soon not have it in this thing, but. And I just go in with a brush. This is just a big fluffy brush. And I just think it looks nice. Um, this is one that I will use to set my under eyes. Sometimes if I feel like using a loose powder, it just, it's one of those that just looks nice on the skin. You don't need a whole lot of it. That little bit that I tapped out was plenty. And then I'll usually whatever's left kind of go back through. Yeah, I didn't, my nose is looking a little like patchy. The lights make it a little more forgiving. And then I used to have, it was like a dupe for the MAC, like skin finish. It was from Makeup Revolution. Um, I decluttered it because my lid was starting to fall apart. I actually have this Kilowatt highlighter from Fenty and Metal Moon. It's a really subtle highlighter, but it, looks the same as that skin finish. So I just use a big brush and it just gives me a little bit of a glow without looking like powdery. So I just run a little bit of this. So I decluttered that other one and I just use a little bit of this. Okay, and then I will go in with a spray. Um, gonna use the Ciate Vacay spray. I usually like to go in with a moist, like a high, some sort of hydrating or glowy one first, and then I'll use 
um, like the Urban Decay All Nighter or something like that at the end. Um, just to put a little bit of hydration, a little glow back um, so I don't look so matte. Okay, so for powder contour, um, I like the, the LYS powder. I use um, either this or the Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil. Um, those are my favorites. I like to go in with a matte powder. Um, and then I will go back in and blend it out with a shimmery like bronzer. So I like to go in with a matte. And I have actual like contour powders that are more cool toned that are in like palettes that I will use from time to time. But I generally find that just a, any matte bronzer, as long as it's not too reddish toned, because if it's too red, I just look like I'm sunburned. Um, so I like just to go in with a matte some sort of matte bronzer to contour. And then, like I said, I will go back in and blend it. Blend it out. And I will do a little bit of nose contour. I have a Morphe brush for that that I like. And it just gives me a little bit. My nose is pretty slim, so this is not a step that is by any means necessary for me, but it's one of those things that I like the way it looks, so. Okay. So my favorite shimmery bronzer is from Becca. It's the Sunset Waves. This is discontinued. You can still get it, like I said, on Poshmark. And I was going to not include it, but this is the one that I grab for the most. And I just use, it's probably a little bit dark for me, but I like a little bit heavier bronzer. I think because I've gotten so fair, this makes me feel a little bit better. And I do, like I said, I know I go quite, I should be using lighter shades of bronzer, but I don't mind. I have seen photographs of myself, so I know how heavy my bronzer looks. But I just find that as fair as I am, I want as much color. So, and I don't, I'm not like digging in. I'm like tapping in once. So you can see the pigment that's coming off. But it's just a really nice little bit of glow. For highlighter, my favorite combination is the Wander Beauty After Hours one. It looks like this, and then the Ray Rider from Kaleidos. So let's put, I've got brushes like sitting out here. Let's put some of these back. Okay, so I usually go in with Ray Rider first. And Ray Rider is really pretty on its own. It is probably one of the most like natural, like subtle highlighters from Kaleidos. Like if you were going to pick one and you didn't want a colorful highlighter because they have, you know, pink and blue ones and peachy ones. Um, this is probably the most like every day out of the collection. They had one and I forget what it was called. Star Surfer is another more natural one. Um, they had another one. I ended up decluttering it because it just had no, like you could barely see it. Um, there's natural and then there's like barely there. So there is one of their highlighters that I decluttered. But this is probably like, it's a champagne gold. It's a more everyday, um, no, I wouldn't say natural highlighter, but more everyday. It's not like a weird color. And then... And both of these are pretty on their own. And then I will go in with a little bit of the After Hours one on top. And then I do my chin with this. And it's just, people make fun of Wander Beauty, but it's just, it's just a pretty highlighter. I have foundation on my hand, by the way, but then you can see the Kaleidos one by themselves. 
but they're both pretty. I just like mixing them. I have a bunch of highlighters, so I like to mix them. For blush, I, I don't necessarily have a favorite blush. I have a lot of blushes that I like. Like, I like the KVD ones. Um, let me look and see. I like, I guess, a favorite... Maybe I'll use this. If I had to pick one favorite, like I like the Benefit. Um, this is a newer one. I like the Benefit blushes. Um, one that I reach for the most is from Ciate London. And this is one of their, their like glowy blushes. I think it's part of this. I don't know if they're marbled light. They're, they're a glowy blush. My favorite shade is Date Night. I have it in a mini and I have not been able, I've tried to get a full size of this several times and it's always sold out. So I've just given up, but the mini like has a dip in it, but I've had this mini for at least probably two years. So I don't know that I need the full size, but this is probably my most used blush. So we'll use this. I was gonna use the Benefit one, but this is just a nice, like it's not too pink. It's not too peach. It's not, you know, a terracotta shade. It's just kind of a nice neutrally color. And I'll take a little bit in the temples um, on my nose. I was doing the blush on my nose before it was popular. Now it's become like a, a trend. I do a little bit on the chin and I do this just to add some color back in my face. Like so I was doing this now it's like, what do they call it? Cold, cold makeup or whatever. I just do it to add color back to my face and I've been doing it for a couple of years. I just think it's funny that it's a, like a popular trend now. I'm gonna do my brows off camera. I will go over my favorite brow products, but brows are not exciting. I don't think to watch and then well, it took me forever to do my eyebrows because I lost my eyebrow brush. I did find it, but sometimes if I don't put them away in front, they get lost in the brush container. But my favorite pencils, and I go back and forth. I didn't feel like I had the ColourPop one. Oh, it's in my hand. I was going to say, I have a couple of different shades of the ColourPop one. The one that I use um, most often is Bang & Brunette. It's probably the mid-toned one. I have one that's a little bit lighter than this, and then I have one that's darker. But it's a really creamy formula, so for me, I like that I can, like, draw it on and then blend it out a little bit with the spoolie. My other favorite one is the Benefit Precisely My Brow, and I am in 3.5. Um, I like to go in with either one of those. I used both of them today. And then I'll use a little bit of the Cabal um, Palmade. This is a mini. It, I used such a small amount of it. I got this last year. Like, there's still a ton of product in there. And I just used the brush. Mine's looking a little goopy. I need to clean it. But I just run a little bit of that through after. And I'm actually in two. I go a little bit lighter with the Palmade. And then I use powder. Um, I like this palette from the Brow Gal. This is in two. They have a lighter one and they have a darker version. So I combine like this one and this one and I run some powder through. Um, I've been using this one for years. You can buy this on Amazon because I have looked at repurchasing this because I broke my lid. Um, and then I'll go in with, and the writing's completely worn off on this, um, the Benefit Tinted Brow Gel, and mine is in five, so I go a little bit darker with this. I have new ones of the pencil and this for when I run out. But for like clear gel, like the ABH one is good. Sometimes I'll run a little bit of this in. I don't need it necessarily, but... Every once in a while, I'll have some like hairs on like the tail that decide they want to stand up or something. So I'll go in with a little bit of this, but any clear brow gel, Elf makes a good clear one, but yeah, those, that's everything. And then I'll either go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter or I like the Elf Stay All Night. It's very comparable. And it will make your makeup last. So I like both of those. So yeah, that is my complexion. Those are my favorite products. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. Hopefully this wasn't too boring. Um, I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas and New Year's holiday, whatever you celebrate. 
Um, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And yeah, hopefully I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye, everybody.